You know we almost died yesterday, right? Yeah, I heard that. We almost died in Atlanta. Why? What is this funky ass green box? What is that? Really? How did this happen? Yeah, he was instantly braced for impact. Went, <laughs> it is Brad! He's like, so Everybody loves talking about the grind. Everybody loves talking about what it takes to make it in a business. This is not a story of someone trying to make it. We already made it. We're a $100 million company a year. We've already built a brand and a status within the industry, but that doesn't mean that we're done. Not only am I going to show you some of the behind the scenes, I'm also going to show you what it takes to run a $100 million company a year and take it to a $300 million company a year. It's really hard to keep a $100 million beast afloat, and it's even harder to take it to the next level. So stay tuned, and welcome to Gray Market. You're about to be famous. No. Alex, how the hell are you? Much better now. Of course, as you should, as you should be. Uh, I, I, I am much better. You know what was died yesterday, right? Yeah, I heard that. Eli, is that Vacheron that came in? Yes. Where is it? Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Keep it down here. I'm going to tell you what to do with it, OK? Natalie, all your questions are answered for inventory or you have, I'm sure you have questions. Of course you have questions. Of course she does. Every time I come down to any department in my office, everybody has questions. But you know what? By me quickly answer them, saves them a lot of time in the long run. So I kind of like making my rounds when I come in in the morning. Is there papers in here? This is my wife's box for my wife's watch. So just keep it. Yeah. Okay, hold on to this. I'm going to go over the rest of the stuff that needs to be shipped out for the show and I'll let you know. Carol, it's okay. I'll, I'll ask you later. <laughs> you got a big enough cup? <laughs> Hello. I'm alive. Were you, wait, were you going? It was like, psh. I got up at 3.45 yesterday. No, 3.30 I woke up. Mm -hmm. I was out of the house by four. And we, I came home last night, it was 11.30. Oh, listen, watch this. Really? How did this happen? I don't know. It was just one car? Yeah. In the middle of the road, on fire. Lo and behold, we get stuck in traffic in 95 when Adrian goes to me. Holy sh**, there's a car on fire. We almost died in Atlanta. Why? Uh, so we went out to lunch. What's going on over here? Do you have all, all of these here? Actually, yes. Because what I, what I want to do is I want to go over the box of papers. I, I bought an extra dial. I bought an extra ruby dial. Yeah, I saw that. How many of these do we have left? Three? Okay, we have three left now. And these are not with papers? Um, I don't know about the new one that you got, um, but this is not with papers. Do not believe what you see. Because <laughs> there's no papers. I'm going to talk with Natalie about that. I, I talked to her this morning about this. Okay. What else you got going on over here? You know who wanted one of those? Gary. My poker buddy, Gary. How much is that thing? How much 70, was it for? 70. How much? 70. I don't think he wanted to spend that much. Well, everybody's, I, I, everybody but I says bought, that. I bought the older, I bought the older white one with the rubber bezel. With the Stainless rubber steel? No, Rose. Oh, Rose? Where yeah. is it? Uh, it's going to take about a week to get here because I bought it from the guy in Dubai. He's got to send it to our Hong Kong office. It's okay. a whole to do. Uh, did you bring anything from, yet, from uh, yesterday? I did. Where is it? <laughs> None of your business. Where is it? What's up, Alex? So, can I let this go for 19? Sold. Be a bank wire? As a short, yeah. Okay. We'll do a bank wire. Okay. Uh, Carol, I wanted to go over with you the, the car event at some point. Is your name Carol? Car is everywhere. Carol, put him in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Care, don't I, with Carol. I, I she, don't, she's tough. Don't you don't. So that weekend, we planned to have a little get together at the office. I invited a bunch of local clients, and it just so happened that Alex reached out to Capital Auto Club from Washington, and they were going to rally up to the office as well. So I just want, I needed to follow up with what was going on that weekend and what was planned out. You got to have showcases here. Three showcases. How, how many? How many showcases did we get? Three. Over there is going to be the champagne, the two buckets, and then the stack of the champagne glasses. What are we doing for food? The truck is coming. Which one? Steve's, Steve's steaks. steaks. I got it. Nice. It's like going to be like a mini IWJG, like right in the middle. Up here, we're going to put racks. We're going to carry up two, two racks so that they can't walk through. Why? Yeah. Why I mean, it's going to be all blocked off. It's Why? just. 
Why not? What are you trying to block off? Show people the office. What's the big deal? Oh. Yeah. All right. There's nothing up here that. What are they gonna do? Steal some extra Swarovski crystal? <laughs> well, that's that's what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> oh, you. God forbid one of these boxes gets out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's a funny guy. This, 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 this Alex Gary. <laughs> yeah, take. A funny guy. <laughs> Hold on, I got two. I got two potential ball busters in Adrian's office. I gotta go talk to. You can come in, sit down. He won't pay attention to you. I was thinking on my weekend watch. I think that 1502 rose gold. <laughs> no, I think. I think. I, I think this so, is you, bro. One, I think this sold. is all you right here, bro. I actually like Adrian. Doesn't I actually I love this? Either. I love this. Fly eagles flying. So uh, Adrian. How long are you gonna be with these uh, time wasters? Gotta, I, we gotta go over dude, uh, we're money situation. <laughs> Why? How much, how, how much money did you just spend? Don't worry. What? This funky ass green box. What is that? This is not supposed to be this green. I think it's fake. It's definitely not new. And yeah. It's definitely not. It's a red tag. Well, what's the watch? It's a Hulk. Oh, that's the oh, Hulk. this is yours. This is I, mine. I yeah. got one today. All right, I'm gonna go to my office. Yeah, look, a, look, look it's, what it's I. Look it's, at a, this. it's a Watch Central. Yeah, check this. Ready? So I get this. He goes, uh, read it. Hi, Adrian. Sorry, this is a bit, Late. a lot later than planned, but I had to wait for the duck to arrive. <laughs> Just a little silly something for your new arrival. With best wishes from the London, from the London Fire Brigade. P.S. Since you are on F1 fan, I checked in some F1 car pieces of mine. I got from Grand Prix a year ago. All the best. This is, this is my guy, Gary. You, oh, you know him? This is Gary, the guy that sent me, remember the guy that sent me the patches from the Fire Brigade from London? And shout out to Gary from the London Fire Brigade and out in the UK for sending me the rubber duck for my baby girl. Oh, these are pieces from the F1 car. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, this is this is sick. Okay, dude, you're going right here. My other trinkets. I'm, dude, give, give me about 35 years, I'll be on your level. I'm not that f***ing old, eh? <laughs> How about the fact that uh, we almost died yesterday? Oh, yeah. Uh, anybody want to talk about what, that? Can we, call, can we call Chelsea in here real quick? Cool. Chelsea, I would like to personally thank you for Save saving my life yesterday. You're welcome. All right, so we're in the car with our guy in, the, in a G-Wagon, a G63. He's going 70 miles an hour. We had a beautiful lunch. You, uh, you know. we're, in the, we're in the back. She's in the front. All of a sudden, she quietly goes, um, I believe that's a red light. And I wake up to... <laughs> Dude, we were. There's a Toyota we Corolla. Like, we were like this far away from. <laughs> there's a Toyota, there's, the Toyota Corolla in the ashes. Like, I mean, he was going 70 miles an hour in the G63. The, a Toyota Corolla pulled out uh, onto the intersection. She was like making a left, so she was slowing down. Dude, and I he was instantly braced for impact. I'm like, <gasps> you know. Like you know, like you know, like when you don't raise your hand and the teacher's gonna call on you, you just know like they're gonna call on me. As we're going and we're going, and I'm just like, he's not, he's not gonna stop. Like he's not gonna stop. And I was like, no, he'll stop, he'll stop. Yeah, so, I don't know. He's like, I don't know what else. I was like, he'll stop. And I was like, no, he's not stopping. <laughs> so I was like, I think it's oh, red. This is, and he's just like, oh shit. It is red. And he's like, oh, so here's the Toyota Corolla pulling out. <laughs> when she says, I think that's a red light, and he goes, oh, sh he is here. Yeah. He swear. And the G Wagon is not, a, is, is not a motorcycle. This thing will flip the f over. Yeah, he was, an F1 he was like, driver uh, one of those. Sure. Meanwhile, I'm just dozing off in the back seat coming back, and, and, and I wake up to this. So, yes, lives thank were you, saved Chelsea, yesterday. Thank you, life, thank you, yeah. Chelsea. Oh, let, let's find Not that. to mention, he just got his five hundred thousand dollars RM that he was steering the car with. That shit would have went right through the window. If he hit that thing, that thing would have turned into absolute sand. Josh, I have a question to ask you. Say something. What's up? Uh, okay, that's, that's nice. No, keep the camera up. So, so here's a Rolex box, right? Like you know, regular, like regular medium-sized Rolex box, right? What the hell is this? Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, I think that box is fake. Okay, so no, I should throw it out. For the box. Yeah, that's no. fake. Because look at the color of this thing. Uh, you don't need to throw it out, but it's fake. Well, I'm not going to send somebody a, a fake, fake box. But, okay, Rolex, those are those are lime boxes, right? Right. Before the fake boxes, there were mother lime boxes that looked like this. Yes. But no, that's no, what's, the di what's the difference between a lime box and a mother lime box? It depends on the person Thank describing you. it. Understood. Mother Jones would end up with a mother lime box. Okay. Thank you for your information. Continue your business. I don't need to be a part of that anymore. I mean, honestly, honestly, they fit. They look good. It's going to look good if you put two of them on each, either side of the lamp. All right, I got to get some work done. Alex, so where's the other bin? Uh, I got it right here. Ian, how the hell are you? 
Okay. Yeah? I just bought a house. By the way. Hey. Nice. Everything went well yesterday? Absolutely. Congratulations. So well. Love it. Love it. I'll, that's what we'd love to hear. One day in Atlanta. And we come back to this. Well, from Atlanta. First, first of all, this came from Atlanta. From Atlanta. From Atlanta. Oh, wait. Where's the red? Let's see. What do we got? Ah, uh, oh. This is what I call simple and to the point plain Jane bread. This is what a Rolex president should look like. It should be yellow gold with a plain white dial, Roman numerals. Fake box alert. This box is fake, but at least the watch is real. We have the Mighty Hulk. Is there a link? Yes, there's a link. Uh, remind me to throw this box out, Al. Yep. <laughs> the guy told me about the box on eBay. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Next, we have a real Rolex box. Oh, baby. Oh, the watch everybody's looking for. Alex, how many inquiries do you have on this? Like 42. I love how he just popped that off. The, you know, he's lying. He just popped that right off the top of his head like, oh, 42. Yeah. Good, good answer, though. You know what it is? I've always said it. I always take, take an approach in life. If people ask me a question, I answer with utmost confidence. And when you do that, people actually buy it. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so you guys saw the 15202 BA that Adrian was wearing. Where's the other one? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Rare. Finds only a luxury bazaar. What, uh, which, which? Which one? I kind of like the yellow. I do too. You know what's yeah. coming today, later today. There's a guy coming in with the OG. 5402. Exactly. And we got a 15202 steel coming as well. You know, how it's I play. not feeling the red strap, by the way. Well, what about that shirt? Oh, I guess we he just dude. He just he he likes he, he likes the wrong shit. He dislikes the wrong shit. I mean, wh wh what's not to like about that red strap? Why? <laughs> because Why? it's just just no. Why? It's just no. It just should be. I mean, what, what, it shouldn't be. Alex, what about the fit? Say something. Like, I know you wanted to say something about my sneakers. <laughs> I know. I know that was on the top of your tongue. Tell me. You should take it off. <laughs> you don't like the sneakers? No, about this. You weren't even born when these came out. Marcus, hook them up. <laughs> Now, hold on, is now is the outfit complete? There you go. There you go. Right, thank you. Boom. Another one. Hold on. Piatti. That's not the no. one. No, that's the other it's one. It's another one. Okay. Another. How's DJ Khaled? Another one. Another one. That is, the br ladies and gentlemen, the brand new Pepsi Oyster. It's like one of the first ones out. First one I saw. First one I saw. Ah, uh, you too, baby. And another one. Another one. Is that an, well, at least on this, uh, this one has a real Rolex box? I don't think like the other one. Th that box actually does not fit that watch, but it's okay. But at least it's a real box. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a whole. Rolex Rolex no, the box let's, is let's, weird. Oh. No, it's because there's stuff underneath. Uh, Anna's trying to play stupid. What is this? It's called a small Rolex box. It's called a small Rolex box. This should have a medium Rolex box. Well, hold on, we're unboxing. We're not, no. We're not, we're not, we're not selling shit. Hold on. Security has that on hold. Ooh. Look. What else we got? Hold on, I don't know. Anna, Anna already messed me all up. Anna. <laughs> this you with that's the, the Hulk. No, you're messing me up. Stop. Lee, somebody get her out of here, please. Too Customers many, are gonna be hitting Alex. Where's my sleeve? Too many chefs in the kitchen. <laughs> so this is the reason. Why where's my best protect? This is the reason why the new OPs, yeah. blue dials, are not worth over this because you can just buy this. It's better. That's exactly right. Right. That's oh, what. That's what. That's a fluted bezel. Okay, I understand, but still, I would rather have this. Yeah. Alex, what is this? Did you just put that in there? Yes. If yeah, I, I open this up and this is the Hulk again, <laughs> don't lose my can sleeve, you please? Alex. Don't lose my hang tag, Alex. It's you, you just opened this. Alex, can No, I, have, I did not. Can I have my original oh. purchase receipt, Alex? The, the foam that lays on top of the box. Where's the foam that lays on top of the box? Thoughts, the thoughts on the new? I dig it. What are we calling this one? Blackberry. Blackberry? Really? How can this be a blackberry? Blueberry. blueberry. Okay, yeah, I thought it was blueberry. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's a black dial, so it's more blackberry than blackberry. blackberry. Yeah, it's yeah. a black and blue berry. That's a good foam. I'm blue, not feeling it's, it, it's a blue but blackberry. <laughs> let's play guess the brand. I mean, okay. really? What is it? Um... 
Uh, George Jensen ladle. It's <laughs> Timex, come on. Timex? What you got? Uh, I don't know. What you got? He probably Rolex. knows what's in there. What you got in? Oh, it's uh, an AP box. Wi-Fi? What's in, what's in the box? <laughs> How about I don't know? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> but this, this is an AP travel. Total Rolex. No? <laughs> oh, Vacheron? Oh, Vacheron. Uh, Look at this turd. Turd. <laughs> Turd, but not turd, but <laughs> turd, but turd. I mean, I gotta take the plastic off of this guy. Look at that. It's a beautiful watch. But God damn, I hate that bracelet. I love this bracelet. I hate that bracelet. So I love this bracelet. What do you like? It's 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 thick right here. Like it's like it's like a thick right, 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 right here. here, right here. You know, AP tapers. That shit's just like a block. I just don't like it. Okay. All right, who's writing uh, what up? Can we? Uh, I will write them all up. You write them all up? Yeah. Whoever buys it writes it up. That's the rule. Didn't you just sell this, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, here. Yeah. I'll rock this guy for now. Nice style. Strap shit. Nah, put this on. You, know, you, don't, you don't want me destroying this. No, I don't. You know how I wear stuff. Give me the Richard. Where's my white gold Daytona I was wearing? Anna has it. Anna? Give she's going to prematurely sell it, and then she's going to sell it, and then we're going to go chase links and papers and boxes and polishes. Well, maybe should, no I, should I wear the 15402 instead? Yes. I will, because the guy's coming at 1 o'clock. With the OG one of these, I'll wear this. You hope you that, would be, like that would literally be the most amazing thing. Ever. Like the most amazing thing to happen this month. To the guy. <laughs> 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 We're not done. Where you going? What else? What else do we, we have? have? This whole box. I just unboxed this whole thing. Did you have a long, long day yesterday or something? Take no sleep. Yeah. yeah. I had a few, uh, a few bourbons. I slept. I slept in today. Like I got home. What time did I drop you off here last night? Eleven thirty. I got home, it was like around 12. Yeah. Didn't brush my teeth, nothing, just crashed. Same. And <laughs> it worked. Well, I, woke, uh, I woke up this morning, it was 8.30, I was like, holy shit, like, you ever wake up scared because you know like you overslept or something? I'm like, I, dead, dead. Five, I was up, worked till 5.45, went to the gym, got here on time. I was good, we, we went almost 24 hours on four it's, hours of sleep. It's an easy trip. I mean, Roman, no, is, that was Roman is a lot that older. Was easy trip. Oh, he yeah, was old. Said, Alex, would you, would you like a Rolex satchel? No cap. Sure. A man purse? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can just... Immerse? Immerse. It's a, it's a Rolex man satchel. There you go. Remember we had that Louis one that he used to carry? He used to carry like this. He used to carry around like this. What do you mean, hat? Hold on, hold on. Adrian. Wait a minute. Adrian, what do you mean, do you mean hat? <laughs> now, not only does he walk around it, but he does, he does this thing with it. Like, no, I was, I was, no, I used to do this with it. Like, you right swing here. it. I used to do this right no, here. No, no, you swing it. You swing it like this. You walk this, by the way, walking behind goes, and this is and this is this is one of many. I have like four of these. I know. I took one of yours. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, right back to work. Uh, hold on. This is Alex's satchel. Oh, congratulations, Alex. No cap. Yes. Speaking of speaking of which, my man did hit a million dollars. Really? How much? A million what? Last minute. So I saw his report. I actually just had it here. It was 966000 and change that he sold. And then I saw an email between him and Tanya saying, hey. Um, so where's my 34000 No, no, no. He, he, said, he, said, he said it's missing one sale. So what did Three. he get up to? Three sales. What did he get up to? 1014000 Nice. <laughs> 1014000 It's like a so I got a better one for you. What's up? In terms of margins. Then they hit his. Really? Yeah. Because he was going straight more, more in uh, buying. I didn't sell shit last month. I mean, you still, you still sold two million. Yeah. But uh, you were close. You were close. That was good. But new months, new months. All right. So close this off really quick. Close it. What am I closing off here? Say sayonara. Sayonara. What am I? Oh, is this? Hold on. This is this an Instagram story? Is this a, is this a gray market <laughs> video? Is this Anna stealing shit back there while you guys are taping shit? Mr. Salesperson. All right. She's gonna sell all the shit from under you while you're over here taping. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next tomorrow. No, we'll see you tomorrow on the next March Friday. edition of Unboxing. Yeah. So a few weeks back, I got a phone call from a guy named SJ. We talked about particular vintage pieces. He was uh, getting ready to buy a 5402 BA, which is the first Royal Oak ever made, right? Except in yellow gold. You guys have seen me wear my steel one. Well, this is the yellow gold version. While talking to people on the phone, I don't really know how old they are, what they're all about, what they do. Uh, he said, listen, I will reach out to you as soon as that 5402 BA comes in. I would love to come in and meet you. I learned a lot of things from a YouTube channel. I told him as soon as it's in, go ahead and come on up. Unfortunately, I, he was supposed to come in a day before when I ended up flying out to Atlanta. And I kind of stood him up. I called him last minute to say, hey, can we please move the meeting till the next day? He obliged. He showed up the next day with his brother. Of course, I didn't know what to expect. 
and commend these two kids. Yeah, I get two for the price of one. <laughs> one What's up? You don't need to wear masks if you don't. Oh, okay. Them. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go. Uh, so yesterday, first of all, again, apologies no, for, no for changing the meeting. I, I flew out, I got up at 3.30 in the morning and flew out to Atlanta. So what's going on? Okay, yeah, so brought a couple of things over to the VA, of course. Oh, I gotta get Adrian here. We just, you know what's funny? Yeah. We just got in a 15202 rose and a 15202 yellow. Perfect. It'd be nice to do a comparison. Perfect. Got a couple of things I wanted to show you. Um, hey. The boys are here. With, the boys are here with a fifty-four or two. You got to bring the other ones over. Come on down. Oh, I love this. And then you know, you know, you know that all, all my steel ones. Uh -huh. I had the steel. I had the SA. Yeah. I had three fifty-four or two steel A serials that literally got taken off my wrist. Wow. And I had a price just went. Yeah. My dad has been buying, you know, here and there all, all over the years. Um, and then COVID, like not a little before COVID, he like since we know so much about them as kids, um, he was like, okay, I'll give you some money, just put it into something, and not as an investment, just to park the money, mm -hmm. and and you know you guys know about this stuff, so we'll, I'll, we'll see how you do. Well, and apparently, years, apparently you guys did well. Yeah, two years later, <laughs> we're here. I always love what you say, you know, don't invest in watches. But Thank you so much. there are exceptions to the rules, right? There are, but I think also if you go into it with the mentality of investing, it's yeah. never, it's not going to work out. Uh, well, it worked out for me 20 years later. Well, that's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> this essay, like look at the bracelet stretch on this one. You mean the lack thereof? Yeah, the lack thereof, thereof, yeah. This is insane. If you can find us another one, if we're looking for a lower agent one though. Yeah. Yeah. With the, in kind of similar condition. Uh, not easy. <laughs> this one is really special. Um, we're, we're, if, you, if you can find someone who is interested in it, we'll take it. It's number 13. Number 13. Lucky 13. You know that's my wife's lucky number. Really? Actually. It's one of the really early ones, and they, the early ones have a different dial. Yeah, I see that. So they have, um, it's slightly different color uh, of the numerals. With these kids, I felt like I was being schooled. Listen, I know a thing or two about watches. I didn't know about that F. Bjorn. But as you watch this video further, you realize, especially the younger brother, these guys are walking encyclopedia. They're very passionate about watches, did their due diligence, did a lot of research. I may have been in the business for 20 years, but by the time this thing was over, I did learn a thing or two from these kids as well. Got this. Love those. Palladium, Roger McGee. Does that have boxing papers? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. That sucks. Yeah. That's a great watch. This is really early. So the really early ones have straight lugs. They don't have kind of the, mm -hmm. the curved lugs. This is like 94, 95. This is like the earliest ones. And I talked to I talked to the guys over at A Collected Man. They said they know one other one in palladium with a black dial. So, this is amazing. Yeah. It's, this it's is pretty definitely crazy. This is pretty amazing. And then the star wheels. You know what? People don't usually walk in here with these type of watches. Anyway. That is NOS. I mean, That's there's no much, scratches, yeah, there's nothing. Never worn, full That's set, true. everything. I had a guy, original strap. I had a guy contact me that wanted one of these, mm -hmm. and he's like, can you find me one? I, the problem is, is that if I don't come across these, yeah. mm -hmm. and I go looking for them, That's a full set. They're, not, they're not bought right. So yeah. I was telling them, like, just hang tight, because yeah. a piece will come across when you get one. That's um, a full set. That's, so, that's cool. Yeah. And then this is not a full set, but still, it's still really cool. cool. This one? No, th this this not full set. This is not full set. This also doesn't have papers, unfortunately. Boxing papers. So the only thing that's a full set is this. Yeah, that's in, in in these. Yeah, that's true. And this is not no no box paper. This is no box paper. So if but it's hard to find it with. I know it's impossible. Paper. Yeah, we got so lucky. On and they came with so much stuff. So this comes with like two two manuals and the certificate. And so it's so it does have box paper. Yeah, this this is the only one that has box paper. But it comes with like three different like things. So. It's like a full full set, like everything. That's just a random AP box. <laughs> well, it's, it's actually not a random AP box. It is. What, what came in this box is a Tantalum Royal Oak. Thirty six hundred. Royal Oak. Yeah. For the Royal Oak Foundation. Eight hundred, right? I'm not good at those. I'm not good at those numbers, but but so so this 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 is the sign for the Royal Oak Foundation. Yeah, you're right. The tree. Yeah. I had another one of these. Uh, that had the, the Nick Faldo one, remember? Mm -hmm. That actually came with a gold bag, believe it or not. Yeah, I, I've heard. I've heard. It, they never made it to clients because it's like, you know, when you buy a watch and it comes with something that cool, you keep it. I have two it. earrings. I need, I, need, I need a pendant. Wait, I have two more. <laughs> Give me a pen. Oh, pendant and this is an Instagram if you saw one, chat. If you have a show one. What's up, guys? What's up? Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Sure. Look at this. Look how crisp this is. Yeah. Look how crisp that bracelet is. It's insane. That's that's a keeper. That's my that's my favorite watch. One of my favorite watches of all time. Uh, I like the essay. I, I to me I prefer it to the VA in some ways. 
I just think it's it's kind of under the radar and yet. You got the you got the Roman shark stuff. So this yeah. is just this thing, <laughs> man. Yep. I gotta take an Instagram shot oh, of this. Yeah, absolutely. So. I have never seen this in my life. You know what the inspiration for that is? What is it? It was a Pope's um, clock. So there was a, a clockmaker, I think, in Rome, um, and the Pope wanted to see the time in the night. So he created like glass discs where there was a candlelight behind. So from his bed, he could see it. Yo, these kids are gonna teach me some more. Oh, I'm right now. So this says 840, 8:45. Yeah, yep, that's right. right. Yep. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. cool. It's really these, cool. These kids are gonna teach me something. It's pretty cool. All right, I got. Do I tag you guys? Sure, yeah. All so right. another cool thing, you know that Malbison turbion you have? Which one? The, the Malbison or whatever. Malbison. Yeah. yeah. You know what movement that is? No, I don't. It's the same movement in the arm sex. I did not know that. In the which one? The so arm maybe that's gonna help us sell it. RM6. Yeah. 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 Because what happens is Richard Neal works. Have you seen an RM6? Like never. Uh, last time I saw it was like never. <laughs> same. R I mean RM9. 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 And RM6. Are yeah. the same. Share the same movement. Ask me the last time I saw an RM9. The APRP movement. If you know anybody Once. with an RM9, Let please. Me know. <laughs> Man, I need that Because watch. Richard Meal actually worked for uh, Malbison from 92 until he started his I thought he was an AP. Yeah, you gotta he give a shot. He created the watch brand part of Malbison. Yeah, that's, that's a sick shot. It sucks too because we have the 15202, which is bought in yeah. steel. That's not coming in until till, till Monday. We need the, uh, the 5402 in steel. And We're gonna call this one Evolution. Steel. Another fun fact, you I'm know, still the, trying to grasp the, at, grasp the at concept. Two on them. You know the Richard Neal on Arm 4 and the RM8? Yeah, yeah. The current graph yeah, behind it? Is it basically, yeah, it's basically uh, a Lemania movement w that they took. It's the basic uh, chronograph uh, yeah, it? Uh, geometry well, is that I'm not from the it. Lemania. <laughs> That's interesting. Wow. And all the APRP chronographs as well are Lemania based. So this is essentially your 401k? Honestly, four, honestly, four, okay. so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've been slowly over the years buying one or two things yeah. with our budget. And if we sign something that we like, we sell the what we have and then buy another one. Then when COVID initially hit, he gave us a little more capital and yeah. said, okay, let's try to... Because he was, he was the market went crazy, right? So he's like, okay, I want to start moving more into hard assets. And so gave us a little more money, and this is what this is the result. Hard assets, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we've done all right. So it's a uh, and it's it's more. This is something day. you will never see in one hand, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you can, if you can manage to get two yeah. star wheels in one hand, you, it just it just doesn't happen. You have to get the platinum one. Yeah, the platinum one. I was the yellow and a rose. Yeah. 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 I was offered. I you saw you. I sold a set of the three. Um, Turbions? The three turbions, the, oh, you know, I think those things are safe. So I'm being offered one in platinum right now with the blue dial. The guy wants forty nine thousand, I think. Yeah, the, the, you know the the the, oh, oh, yeah, the yeah. one with the wine. The, 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 the later I think, one. I think, I think, the those, straight ones, I think right? those things are pretty sleep, uh, uh, sleepers. Yeah, but it's the later one, right? With the blue dial, with the luminous, yep. the big luminous indices. It is with pieces such as you, what you guys have in your collection. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have one, not easy to sell. No, but if you want but one, that's not the point. Good luck. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. We talked about doing something with this. What do you guys? What did you guys want to do with this? Uh, you said hundred consignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna consign good. this at a hundred. Mm -hmm. Any of this stuff? Uh, you do? None of this. Oh, well, actually, the Jorn probably. If well, we're not that desperate, but if someone wants to pay a lot of money, we'll take it. So define a lot of money. Ninety-two plus eight. Yeah, ninety plus. If if they're selling for a hundred and ten at auction, let's say ten twenty percent. Well, what's lower. okay? Just but just this is an early one. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. So. Ready? We're does it bring in. more money or less money? A hundred thousand dollars for an FP Jordan chronometer blue I cannot believe my ears I cannot believe my eyes I can't believe I, I don't even know what to believe we I've owned this watch for 17 18 19 16 20 and today the fact that it's a hundred thousand dollars blows my mind I have a collector that would be that was hard on for it and the dial so they made two series one to a thousand was like I think from 2009 2000 I would love to there, there's, there's no brand what like would you say? What Roger would you, Dubai, what would that you sell this changed? for? That has changed. No, if you had to. I know you don't want to. If we had to, I probably won't sell it until it's worth hundred grand. Yeah, I mean today, I think I think today you can easily ask 70, 75. Okay. Well, we actually need somebody to service this for us. Yeah, if you know somebody who can service a Lamania based chronograph. I would not touch this. I'm not touch it? I wouldn't touch this. Until the time comes, I would not touch this. Because if I'm a collector buying this, mm -hmm. I'd rather not have it. If somebody's gonna buy this and pay all the money for it, they're gonna wanna send it to Roger Dubuque. Yeah, that's true. The fact that if you, now you can one-up them and send it to Roger Dubuque and get the paperwork, 
to use a buckle and probably the right strap. Do they have extracts? I don't think they they offer extracts. No, they are. <laughs> I mean, in re but you know, the funny part is, is that you can find an old blank certificate from Rajasthan because this the is what is, they were. The they were they were all blank certificates that they filled in by hand. But the thing is, all these watches are a, a, a chronomet. Uh, sorry, CO. Uh, right. You're not gonna find the COSC certificate. You're not gonna find. So you, you can, can go to the archives and get it. That but the, that certificate, but that's technically it's something else. Yeah. But with that said. Uh, the lead seals, I have a bunch downstairs, I'm sure I can find you one. Mm -hmm. But okay. because a lot of the stuff back in the day was very, very generic, which was yeah. okay. Like, even F. Bajorn, you can find a generic box for it. That, yeah. It wasn't a special box, right? Overall, the meeting was great. And even though I've been in the business for 20 years, it was also still educational. And I was not surprised to learn something new from a kid who's 18 years old. It was great to see older watches in the hands of younger generation. Being that I'm leaving marketing, I transition into sales, it's a little difficult for me to do both at the same time. So I definitely need a little bit of help with this, which is where uh, someone special comes into play here. It's time. It's time to, to meet a new grasshopper. Here he is. Just kidding, that's Revan's dad. <laughs> so, everyone, meet Akib. Hey, how you doing? That's Ian. Everyone, Akib, Akib, Adrian, Akib, Roman. Roman, Akib. Please, have a seat. Yes. What did Alex tell you so far? Uh, he told me he needs someone to help him out. Uh, he told me that he needs his own Alex. Fuck. Another shy, quiet one. He's much me. bigger than you, bro. Like, I just He's, this is, this is, when I tell you this is like my brother. So here's, He's, here's, I'll, I'll, tell I mean you, I'll tell you not so many words, because Alex is not a man of many words. <laughs> In not so True. many words, here's what's going on. Uh, Alex started here in marketing and customer service, right? So the reason he got hired, because I saw that he was, even though he doesn't say much, he was, he, he, I felt that he was motivated and I got good energy from him. And I was just like, you know what? I think this kid is gonna go somewhere here. And there were two people that started here. But as they say, you have to crawl before you walk. So what was his crawling for the last, what, four months you've been here before mm -hmm. becoming a salesman? Is a lot of shit work, a lot of uh, ag, aggravation. Uh, phone calls from clients dealing with somebody that bought a $30 Timex and usually those clients tend to be the biggest pain in the ass. Yeah. Like you have a guy buy a half a million dollar watch, it'll be the easiest transaction to ever make. A $45 Timex, he was on the phone. It's, with like, it's, it's like hours and hours, yeah. So in a matter of 60 days, Alex has got, just from my DMs alone, Alex has gotten to a point where he doesn't have enough hours a day. The job would be very simple. I'm gonna pay you the same exact salary that Alex got when he first got here. Mm. And then after that, I literally called Alex into the office and said, you no longer have a salary, you're not making $500 a week. That's what every single salesperson makes here till this day. When I hire somebody, I look for them to succeed, which will explain why our employee turnover is very low. 13 years she's been here. Uh, Anna, going on 16 years. Tanya, 10 years. Ian? Five. Five years. His wife, six years. There's not a whole lot of people here that have been here for a short amount of time. We've hired new faces in the last couple of years because we started growing, but uh, for the most part, people that come, they stay. Why do they stay? Because we provide a pretty comfortable place to work. There's always, uh, nobody punches a clock, but everybody gets rewarded accordingly. The opportunity is to do exactly what Alex did. And it's, an, it's I was thinking a year. It's been five months. Well, listen, Rob. We're also in a very high market right now. We are, which is good. Well, for now, for now. We're in the so high market. coming up. It's going to be slower. Don't expect big things. You know, there's, there's going to be market great. market could correct like this. You might not get as busy. This is true. So what you're seeing is the top of the mountain. Part of the reasons he became so successful quick is because he gets daily exposure on Instagram, on the YouTube channel, on Gray Market. He was actually a character. He still is a character of that new salesperson. Now he's going to take away some of that light because now he's going to be the new guy. Yeah, hey, watch, he's going to have he's going to have people in the comments. Uh, you're going to have people. What? A lot of people. A lot of support. Everyone's so supportive on our channel. Exactly. Because what do they want? They want to see the underdog win. Here's a young kid that just yeah. came in. You know, making. He walked in here. I asked him, "What's your paycheck?" He didn't even fucking know. So he got. So, you know, <laughs> Did I froze up? Right, they he tore me apart. They tore me froze. apart. You completely froze. Oh man. But so. If this is something that interests you, talk with Alex a little more, like sit next to him, have him show you, right? So this is not a formal interview for say, it's like, hey, my boy's coming, right? Yeah. So 
before you jump in, this is, it's got to be an all-in kind of thing. I think with having him as your friend and him being a close friend, I think you have a, even a better opportunity because he's going to want you to succeed and he's going to make sure you succeed. But you're going to deal with some bullshit along the oh, way. Yeah. And then the next step is that, hey, if you become another Alex in three, four months, then we go find another Alex to take over what you're doing. Again, more customer service, social media stuff. Questions for me? Uh, no questions. No, but I guess you already gave him the whole word. Yeah, I mean, I just, I'd pretty much told him it's like one of those things you have yeah, to be yeah, committed if you to. Have to. If you have time today, yeah. I would encourage you to shadow Alex for a couple hours just Not to sure. see what's up, Look, show, have him show you around. And again, there's no formal hiring process here. If you think this is for you and if you think you can do well here, and I'll, I'll definitely take Alex's word for it because, again, I like hiring from within. We'll get going as soon as you're ready. All right? Let's do it. Yeah, so for sure. You guys hang out, whatever. Show him whatever you want to show him in the interim. You know, just yeah, I'll out. give him a tour. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah, awesome. All right. Let's do it. So I decided to give my young grasshopper a tour of this place MTV style, straight from Cribs. What up? It's your. <laughs> All right, yeah. So uh, let's start with the tour. This is it. <laughs> there's, there's not much to it, uh, but there is a lot. This is Ian's masterpiece. We film like gray screen reactions for the show. Behind it is like the watches and whiskey set, which we don't really use anymore. RIP watches and whiskey. Uh, this is where literally the whole show the is. Magic happens. The magic happens, I guess you could say, yeah. yeah um, edit. Let me see that clip. Hey, it's good stuff. Right, trade show. Oh, yeah. Trade show, IWGG. When I first started here, it was probably like three months before I saw my first Richard meal. Hold it, feel it, experience it, love it, enjoy it, burn it, send it to hell, <laughs> give it back to Jen. Either way, I'll get out of here. Where's your office? I'll show you that. This is the lair. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. Uh, so this is Ala, Ala Akib. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nick, Akiv, hey, Akiv, Nick. This is my 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 right hand man, I guess. Uh, I'm Nick's Nick's right hand man, but um yeah, this is my mess. All right, more to show. This is uh the shipping facility. This is yeah, the love know, of my life, my Shella. Is this is her. No domain. Domain exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is where everything comes in and comes out. These are all extra boxes like AP. Mm. Rolex. Mm. This is where all the good shit's held. This is Akiv, Akiv Anna. This is the sales manager. This is the head honcho. Nice this is any questions you ever will have about anything that I can't answer, Anna or Adrian. Wait, there's something, wait, there's something that uh, Alex can't answer? Yeah. <laughs> he needs, he needs. Right, who's laughing? Who's okay. like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the tour. Let me show you the real stuff that we'll be doing. So after the tour was over, it was time to show the young grasshopper around the ropes. Just little stuff that I picked up along the way. Pretty much I'm just gonna show him how we operate here. My name is Akib Chaudhry, and I'm excited to work here. This is unlike anything I've ever done before, so stay tuned. What's up? Good morning. Morning. A few questions for you. You guys know my buddy Adam, by the way, he opened up a YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out and subscribe. Show him some love just the same. It is very usual for people that we do business with on a daily to do a little bit of housekeeping. There's so many transactions that take place. Watches exchange hands on a daily, sometimes hourly. So it's always good to do a little bit of housekeeping. 5402BA, you're sending me a label? Yeah, I'm trying to see if insurance will cover to residential because he wants for Saturday. But he said worst case, he'll pick it up at FedEx, so no big deal. Okay, uh, next thing, the the Jordan that we talked about yesterday. I know that's a watch you want for yourself, but do you have somebody for it, for the early one? Uh, uh, I mean, the price is not cheap, though. With this costing me 92, charging somebody 102 is not crazy. I mean, so wait, what's the deal with why, why is that one special versus normal production again? Just, diff just the early ones had a different dial, the numbers are different. That's all it is. Okay. Dude, I can't believe I bought one of those when I lived in Russia for eleven thousand dollars. I've owned, so, I've owned, I've owned one for twenty. So what? It is what it is. It's crazy. Did you see? Um, did you see the star wheels that I sent you? Yeah, uh, I don't have anybody off the top of my head that I've loaded to a couple clients. And see I, I, I mean, I do. I just wanted to give you a shout at it too because I, it's, it's up your alley. I think it's a good watch uh, to have. 
Uh, let me ask you a question. I know you sold a few Rolexes. I need to yeah, build. I need to build them. Well, you memoed me a couple watches, but right. I know, like, but what I'm saying. Oh, I'm okay. So the Blanc Pond is still there. I'm a client, by the way. All right. So then I have a then I have a Sea Dweller at fourteen thousand and a one six six one three three at eighty five hundred. <laughs> Stop, stop. Sea Dweller, I sent back to Anna because Anna sold it. I was getting the case back fixed for you guys, and then by the time I had it fixed, she had a client sold. Okay, so, but I, it was never taken off. That's why, I'm, unless unless I have a draw, <laughs> unless it's another one. Hold on. Hold on. hold on. hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, so I'm taking this one off of your sales order. Good job, Anna. She never should never take it off, so it still shows with you. Delete line. Okay. There's a 166133 that we own for 8500 Okay, yeah, I still have that. You still have that. Okay, so that, me, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go down the list real quick. There's a thing in here for five thousand. I think that's the IWZ closing A. Still have that? No, we I think we got rid of that. No, I, I still have it open. Did you sell it? I think we sold it. Okay, tell me how much. I gotta look it up. I don't remember. It was okay, so thing. so I w hold on. I W C. We had a sixteen eighty white. Hold on. So the closing A is uh, the next sales order I have. There's a sub 1680 and right. a GMT Vintage two-tone. And then what about the 1675 oh. for 10 gram we owned? Yeah, no, it's sold. I got it. Uh, another GMT Master 16753 for 20 grand. That's really old, bro. That was closed out. Well, let's check on Apple thought. Like, I'll tell you right now. No, I don't think so, but let me check. It's okay. List, item list. That's not that old. That no, that's the that's the watch we sent you yesterday. What the f am I talking about? Oh well, I was like, what, yeah, because no, we had a different one six seven. Yeah, that's that, 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 that that's 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 the watch I sold you. So so you so right now so right now the only thing I need from you is the price on the closet name. Those are those are the three watches, right? I'll look it up. It was in e I just threw it on eBay and got rid of it. Huh? Wearing a right now or the SA? Excuse me. This is the BA. This is the the fifteen two zero two BA. I have a fifteen two zero two. I have a fifteen two zero two OR. I have a fifteen two zero two BA. The 5402, I have a 15202 steel coming from Jacob. That was supposed to be here 10 days ago. What did you pay for a 5202 in steel? What's like the market on that now? Uh, I paid 75, Okay. which is cheap right. considering. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's 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 cheap. It's cheap, all things hey, considered. Hey, they're denying insurance to his house. Can you guys send over 100K insurance to residential? Find out and let me know. Worst case, I'll, I'll send your label to the FedEx location. I get it. Get it. What else is popping? Uh, nothing really, man. Same sh different day. You know what this is? Uh, ooh, dude, I was supposed to buy one of those. Well, not that's the Grande, right? That's the Luminous, too. Right, right. But I was supposed to buy the regular Luminous non Grande. They make a Luminous non Grande? No. no. All, all Luminous, Grande? all Luminous are Grande. Okay, so, so when I lived in Russia, there was a Longe One black dial that was sitting on one of those like Lombard Perspectiva or one of those sites, you know, one of the great market dealer sites for like fourteen five. And he sat there for like two, three years. Like and I was like, I should buy this watch. It seems really cheap, you know? I didn't buy it. And then years later when I after I moved back to Miami, I was like, you know what? I kinda want that watch. I called up a buddy, I'm like, yo, run down there, it's still there, condition's nice, tell him I'll take it, I'll wire them, you know, whatever. He goes down there. Mind you, I'm not even exaggerating, he was on their site for at least two years. He goes down there and he's like, "Just sold yesterday." I'm like, "How is that even possible?" That's they do that. They they keep they keep stuff on there, and it's like, you know, when you go to buy, they're like, "Oh, sorry, it's just sold." You know, Dude, crazy. Anyway, all right, I will talk to you later. I'll send you a bill for. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I'll tell what's you. At, what's at me the price somewhere on the closet, right? so I, I can make one bill. Yeah, it was somewhere around around the cost. You just got rid of it. Okay, well, you tell me what it is. Doesn't matter, so I can bill it properly. Tell you what it is, cupcake. Bye. <sighs> Did he just call me Cupcake? In the last episode, you guys saw a brief meeting with me and Nick where we talked about either beefing up my existing Facebook page, my personal one, opening up another page or open up another group, and the boys were working it for the entire week, so they came in to talk about the details. What's up? Uh, do you see the uh, Facebook thing I left on your desk? Yeah. All no, right. No. Yes and no. <laughs> There's a couple of things I want to talk about before. Okay. Well, I guess let's start with the Facebook group. So. We had an early conversation uh, with Nick, and I said, you know, I do get a lot of traction on my regular Facebook. Uh, tell me the reasoning quickly behind going a Facebook group and not utilizing my existing Facebook. Uh, so pretty much the idea behind the group is there's going to be exclusive like sales and kind of contests on it. That's going to be so basically the same thing that everybody else is doing. No. Yeah. Very original, guys. 
So the reason you're not using your personal profile is because it doesn't get the, as much reach as a group. Personal profile also is limited. How many people? You Hold on, you're making a group. Okay. I had a business page. It's not a page. page. It's a group. You're making a group. Oh, it's a group. Yeah, it's, it's a group. group. Uh, specifically, so that way there's more than just one person monitoring it at one time, and that way your Facebook page won't get flagged if like we throw a Rolex on for sale because I know that we've gotten hit with. We're flagged anyway. We just have to do right. it right shadily, like they do in every group. So just using emojis. You can't use numbers. You use emojis. You you know. Right, but on top of that, zero instead of O and Rolex. Yeah. You know, shit like that. On top of that, it's going to be more of like people coming to interact and like talk about different group, like different things that are going on in the gray market series. If they have certain questions, like Avi and I will hop on or like. What's the number one purpose of that group for us? Interact. Build a community. Yep. We're going to do deleted scenes. We're going to do bloopers. We're going to do trailers, previews for upcoming episodes prior to them going live. And how does one join the group? Do we vet the members and the, or do we, we leave it open? No, we leave it open. Yeah. I mean, if we uh, want to, we can make it so that way they have to answer a few different questions. I mean, the questions are already there. You know, right. Obviously, they have to be subscribed. Yeah, they so can't we, not just hop yeah, in. Yeah, we want to be able to get everybody to subscribe. Subscribe yeah. to YouTube? To, to the YouTube yeah. channel. Okay, so obviously we're not charging anything for this. It's, no, it's, no, no, it's, no. A, it's a free group. Now, the question is, is that are we trying to make it a group just for interaction or a group where, let's it's say, gonna we're going to post daily deals specific to... Yeah. So we're doing the same shit Anthony's doing. Correct. Very original, guys. As you're doing the unboxing, we're going to be putting those things on as well. It's essentially taking the Luxury Bazaar deals and steals and then adding... You know stuff about gray market, just where people can actually talk about other things besides. Take, just take me deals. through. Uh, take me through one day of posts on that group once it gets rolling. Day one, we're posting deleted scenes. We're okay. posting yeah. bloopers. We're posting watches for sale, and we're posting memes. So I do an unboxing. The process is we do the unboxing, right? And the unboxing is on Instagram, and then an hour later, those watches are on the Facebook. Yeah, group. on specific deals for the group before they go live on the site. So at which point are we going to just shut down the website and call it a f***ing day, I guess is the question. <laughs> okay, so now, talking about it now, people are going to ask questions, and, and uh, is the group up yet? It is. Yes. Let's, let me see, what's it called? It's called Gray Market. It has three members. It's uh, growing and, fast. And you can't see my face. <clears throat> I mean, can somebody fit me in there, please? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> like, I, I would like to see, I would like to see myself. We will fix it. Um, okay. So yeah, day one, we're just gonna put like fucking watches on there. People could buy them. Obviously, you know, everything is based on how quickly they sell. So as soon as they sell, mark them sold, just like any other Facebook group that sells stuff. We do it right away prior. I mean, I would. I would have Adrian take a picture, post it up for the price. That's it. Uh, you know, put a link in a YouTube video. Maybe. How about we this just? How about? How about we just? Yeah. Here we go. This was. This is an We're gonna, yeah, we'll gonna, we're gonna yeah. put a link. Join in the group. Channel. It's called Gray Market <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. What is that called? Yeah. That's called breaking the third wall. Is that what it's called in video now? The yeah. fourth wall. Oh, you broke. You broke the fourth wall. <laughs> now we can gray screen this. Whatever. Maybe you can talk about. It. <clears throat> join the group. It's on Facebook. It's called Gray Market. Just click join. To celebrate the launch of this group, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm gonna pick. 10 random group members and give them this amazing new t-shirt that we just put out. They're limited. 10 of you are gonna get them. So click join now. Saturday morning, we get to the office bright and early for our little get together. Four local clients, uh, Capital Auto Club, came up on a small rally from DC. And the first thing that we do is we set it up like any other trade show we've ever done. Glasses just like we have outside. Look at the Ferrari boy over there. I know. Oh, look at him. Richard Costa Milly. They're, they're running late. That was, it was raining in uh, DC. And they're, and they're actually hooking up with another rally from New York. Why? What are you trying to do? Pops is getting thirsty already. It's only 12.05. Steve's in 1942, there's nothing better in this world. We didn't just open our doors and say, guys, come on in and look at some watches. We made it a whole to do in an experience, especially for those guys from out of town. We called in Steve's Steaks. Now, everybody that talks about Philly cheesesteaks, they think of Geno's and Pat's, but in reality, every Philly person will tell you Steve's Steaks is the king of steaks. It was a fun event. Friends came over, 
kids came over, wives came over. It was a really fun family event, if you will, with some kick-ass cars and expensive watches. You have stuff that's on a stand that's worth more than the car, right? It's like, it, like this is this is this is, this is four hundred thousand. Oh yeah, that So you can you can buy you can buy a couple of sports cars with this. Yeah, no, like that was nice. But it's it's insane how the market is. It's like, oh, there's a GT3 RS and here's a watch that's the same amount of money. It's insane. <laughs> so outside of cars, what do you guys all do? Um, uh, I do cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. Yep. She's medical research. Medical research. Where did you find this girl? Medical research, car racer, winner of races. So he probably hacked her account at one point and found her that way. <laughs> Cybersecurity. How much is this? This one. Yeah. So this is the affordable Richard Mille, at eighty thousand. It's a diver. Something. If you're a Richard Mille collector, you must have it in your collection. Like that one? It's not from. It's not my style. It's, it's not my style either. It's too bulky. It's too big. Well, it's not. So try it on. I don't have a big wrist, but the way the Richard Mill case engineering is superior to everybody. So this watch right here, which is ginormous, is it doesn't feel ginormous. Fits. A little warm. I just don't like the ergonomics of the case. You see how it's concave right here? The way it bends in, it just hugs the wrist perfectly. Like the way they they made it. Second to none. I guess so. What was great about this watch, about Richie Mills in general, is straps are very easily changeable, and so is the crown. So you can take this all black limited piece, put a white strap, white crown, red. There's so many things you can do with it. It's all limited. Hey man, let me get that one. You should have brought your arm. How about Patex? So Patex, everything has been sold out from the Nautilus Aquanaut line. We have a ladies paddock right there. The Patex, paddock Nautilus. What are the uh, what are the Omegas priced at? No price. Good question. I can tell you which one. I, think the I like the orange one and I like the white face. So this one. This one. How much? And this one. Uh, this one is four thousand. Okay. Oh, they put prices on it. That's nice. I'm looking at uh, the bracelets. Oh, the bracelets? Yeah. I mean, you I like, I like the words, but some people prefer the bracelets. And when that's what you have? Yeah. Okay. I have the two tone. So here, this is, this is, why are you comparing this and this? Yeah. This oh, is. and one more thing. Uh, fluted. Uh, that's how much more. Yeah. How much more? Yeah, exactly. Um, but I like the Jubilee bands because they don't scratch. Like the, I, I like, I like this band, but it just scratches. Uh, one is not better than the other. It's, no, all, personal it's all personal preference. preference. Yeah. So how much is that one worth? So, so Batman's on oysters. Let's say no box, no papers is somewhere from 14 to box papers like 17. So about the same Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You can do listen, you can you can do whatever you want. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I can get you an orange one, yeah. This, no, this isn't the strap, right? right? Like this is a this is the 30 strap, so this fits a different watch. But they but they make them for every K shape and different different color. So if they make it in 30, they make it in 10. I, I look at the white one. I like the white a lot. Yeah, the white's really good. I wear it like all year round. Well, white 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 is the most like common interchangeable with the black. You think it look better with white guy? <laughs> yeah, I still like white. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, there's a lot more character with white. It just pops down. It's all up to you. Yeah, it's forcing you. There's no, there's no right or wrong answer. Adrian, what's the what's the cost on this one? But we just gotta. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, that's what's so. Сколько лучше отдавать? Четырнадцать пятьсот. 
Yeah. Yeah. She wants this one. She, it's a, that's a deal. Yeah. So between these two, this one. Uh, okay, to be perfectly honest, because this is weird. I'm just going to throw it out there. That's way more. Yeah, when yeah. you showed me. Well, yeah, because I have one similar. Oh, that's right. Here's, here's one that you want to keep on. Dude, where did you see it? Accurate. Accurate. This is a turbine. There's no way to get a touch of it. Yeah, perspective. Yeah. And then that. And if you find this, it's a French wash. You're going to take it. Yeah. They produce 2,500 units from those elite ones. How many is this one here? Uh, this one's 76. Your wife. Beautiful one. Oh, that's nice. It fits perfect. Okay. It fits perfect. That's very you. That's very you. Yeah, I love the lightning bolt, actually. I'm gonna be like this, so I'm not turning back. Thanks, man. This is the one. There you go, Tanner. Nice. Yeah, you gotta you wanna do a handshake on yours? No, you gotta take yeah, this yeah, one off and you gotta put the new one on. I was gonna tell you to drive safe, but you're not these crazy motherfuckers. They, they, they crashed three Ferraris last week. Are wedged in there. Oh my god. This, hers is a slaughterhouse. <laughs> you, it's a slaughterhouse <laughs> on the front. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to get rid of that for me. Oh, yikes. Gross. <laughs> Overall, the get together was great. The purpose was not to sell watches. Of course, we sold a few watches, uh, made some deals, deals to buy a few pieces, but it was just a good time. It was good to interact with people. I've told you guys numerous times, it's very hard, but majority of the time, I talk to you guys through a camera lens. This gave me an opportunity to meet people face to face. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. We'll see you guys next week on Gray Market.